Bonjour. Actually, I got this from Bonjour Patisserie. Patisserie. And it is a king's cake for the Feast of the Epiphany. And it's really cute. They say this is one of their signature signature desserts for today. They also have one that is a brioche, but this one has the almond paste inside. A little crown for the king, and there's a little image of a king there. I think they should put three of them for the three kings, or the three wise men. But that's okay. Um, it, a fun little thing that you can do with this cake is cut it open and each person who gets a piece will check to see if they have the baby Jesus inside. If you have the baby Jesus inside, then you are the king for the day. And that's usually just a nice way to to share about what the Feast of the Epiphany really is, a, is about for children. Um, as you know, we had three kings, Caspar, Melchior, and Balthazar. And if you listen to the song, We Three Kings, you'll learn a little bit about each one of them and what gift they brought to our Lord on this day. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I believe gold is for his kingship. Frankincense was to honor his death that would come. And myrrh, actually someone's got to help me out with what myrrh was about. I'm sure it was about his life. So it's always three, right? Life, death, and resurrection. Ah, maybe myrrh was his resurrection. So life being the the gold. I don't know. I, I, I need to see. I need to brush up on it more. So today we get the Epiphany Water Blessed, which is a powerful water. Not quite as powerful as Easter water, but it is also powerful. And we also get the Blessed Chalk. And then if you have gold, you can bring it to your priest to get it blessed today as well. Remember, though, if you intend to sell the gold, do not get it blessed because you cannot sell anything that is blessed. But if you've got maybe a gold miraculous medal or something you never intend to sell, maybe you're going to even be buried with it or you're going to pass it on to somebody, you can get that blessed um, today. So that's really a nice thing. So, yeah, just a few notes about the Feast of the Epiphany and some kind of fun things that people do and of course you want to go to mass and if you can't get to mass you um, because of distance or illness you should sanctify your day you could do 15 decades of the rosary I'm going to actually go on a walk at SeaWorld and I'm going to try to date all 15 of my 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 decades in I mean my sorry yes 15 of my decades in so let me know in comments below how you celebrate the feast of the epiphany or the feast of the three kings and, and thank you for watching. If you are interested in this content that I have, please continue to watch, subscribe, and share with others. This is how we can get the words of just living as a Catholic out there to, to people who maybe um, are new to it or they're just new to tradition. So thanks again for watching. God bless you all. Merry Christmas.